Hi, my name's David and I'm here to show you how to create and import a contact in Descara CRM Plus. So let's go to contacts. So inside here I can see the contact information, my name, email address, type, phone number, organization, address, and segment. Status, label, and my custom field, title. So for example, I created a custom field because I want to know what is their job title for each individual. And I can just drag and drop it wherever I'd like. So for example, I'm just dragging and dropping it to over here so where I can see it. If I want to create additional custom fields, I can just click here and choose. Do I want a text, number, email, date, select, or multi-select? For example, maybe I want a date. For example, follow update. I can click done and now it's been created. I can also add additional ones. So for example, maybe I want numbers. So for example, size of company. For example, if I'm selling PPE or specific items for protective equipment, maybe I need to know the size of their shop floor in order to better get an estimate on how much it's going to be for the deal. So I can put a number here and I can say done. And let's add one more. And this time let's add a text. So for example, we can call this additional information. So any additional information that's needed. I can click done and then you can see it's been created. So I'm able to create additional custom fields based upon my company's requirements. So now let's add a new contact. Inside here I can put in the title such as manager name any email address Select the type, put in a phone number, input the organization, select the segment, for example, maybe master list and computers. If I want to get rid of it, I just click the X box, select the status, select the label, and we have our custom fields here, so I can update the custom fields accordingly. And then after that, I can save it. And you can see our new record has been created. I can also go here and select my contacts, and then I can change the type, change the segment. For example, maybe I want master list and computers and apply. I can also apply a filter by clicking in here and then add new filter. And I can say, for example, title, name, email. So I can select which field I want, including my custom fields is equal, greater than, less than, contains, starts with, ends with. So for example, contains sales. And then I can apply it. And then I can see my two sales managers. Then I can select it and I can see the status. And I can click on label. For example, maybe I want to update them both to warm. I can then also go over here and edit. So if I want to update this, I can update, for example, the telephone number update the follow-up date, size of the company, any additional information, and then I can save it. I also can add additional filters. I can copy the filters and I can remove it by clicking the trash icon and I can click apply. Now if I want to make changes directly on the screen I can just double click and type in the information. We can also import contacts by clicking import contact. Inside here we can go and just drag and drop the file into here. I can click next. Inside here I can see the import header and the Dexcara header and I can see that the fields have mapped. If something does not look correct or is not mapped correct I can click here and then select the correct field. I can also click skip columns that do not map and I can press continue. Inside here I can see the import properties such as import options. Are we adding new records, updating existing records, are we doing both adding new and updating existing records? In case of duplicate records are rejecting the duplicate, importing the duplicate rows? In case of invalid values are rejecting the entire row, rejecting the invalid value but import the row? 
add the value in the dropdown. So we can choose what we want here. After that, we can click and choose our segment. If I want to add a new segment, I can click new segment. After that, I can look and see if all the information looks correct. I can also click here to show invalid records only. So I don't see anything invalid. And if I want to update any additional information or any of the columns here, I can just type it in. After that, everything looks good. I can click confirm and proceed. And you can see our contacts have been added. And that was a quick look at how to create and import your contacts in CRM+.